Why aren't you sending people to where the magic happens? The School of Podcasting with Dave Jackson. Hey, I'm Dave Jackson from the School of Podcasting.com, where I help you plan, launch, and grow your audience. And before we get to something you're probably doing that might be wasting your time, let me remind you to, you know, like, subscribe, ring the bell, that whole nine yards, so that when I put out a new episode, you'll be notified. How cool is that? And what I want to talk about today is a lot of people, when you join whoever your media host is. Now, for the record, I work for Libsyn, but this is a video from the School of Podcasting. And I say this because people will contact me and they're trying to configure the website that came with their media host. And for the record, they're not bad. They're meh. They're a great place to listen and subscribe, but they're not super flexible and they're not supposed to be. They're supposed to be very simple to use. And so I'll look at their account and I'll see where they have a really nice looking website where all the magic happens. Hey, here's where you buy stuff and join my newsletter and all this other stuff. And yet you're spending all this other time on a okay website that you're then going to send people to this and go, oh, oh, go over here to where the magic happens. So what you want to do is treat every podcast episode like a blog post. And that show description that you just typed up in your media host, that's now the text of your blog post. And every media host has a way to embed the player that has the actual MP3 file on it. Put that on your website. I would also add links to Apple, Google, Spotify, and Amazon. And I'd put it somewhere in that blog post. I would also add it to your website as its own special page. I would have, here's Apple, Google, Spotify, Amazon, and here's how you can subscribe to my newsletter. That way you can say, hey, if you would like to get more information from me, go to yourwebsite.com slash subscribe. So for example, if you go to schoolofpodcasting.com slash subscribe, you'll see exactly what I mean. But here are the benefits of this. Because when you make an episode, there's a a field there where you can say, where do you want people to go? Because when they listen in an app, it'll say like more information or website or something like that. Don't send them to the media host. Go to where the magic happens. That's your website. And when you do this, Number one, you get them closer to making magic on your website, whatever that is, whatever you want them to do. It's not a matter of like, hey, let's send them over here and then try to get them over here. No, when they click that button in the app, it goes right to your website. So they're this much closer to buying your product or service or whatever it is you're trying to get them to do. They're this much closer to subscribing to your show. The other thing this is going to do is if they go over there and if you've put the episode on your website with a player and they click play and they listen, that's going to increase the time on site metric that Google tends to go, huh, every time I send somebody over there, they stay on that website for about 17 minutes. It must be really good. So it's potentially going to boost your SEO juice. Now, if other people go, wow, I just heard this episode and it's really good, and they start sending people to your website, that also is going to potentially boost your SEO, your search engine optimization, meaning you're going to rank higher in Google. The other thing this does is instead of saying, go to schoolofpodcasting.com slash Lipson or schoolofpodcasting.com.lipson.com. See, I can't even say it right. You reinforce your brand. Go to schoolofpodcasting.com slash subscribe. And again, the biggest thing is if you send them over here and you really want them over here, why not just send them here in the first place? So it also allows you because people will spend time making new graphics to kind of spice up the website from your media host. Just put it on your website. It's really that simple. Don't waste your time doing this. Plus, if you think about it, depending on how you look at it, If you have two websites, you're kind of competing with yourself. So don't do that. Just send all the information to your website where the magic happens. If you want to see where my magic happens, go over to schoolofpodcasting.com. I would help, would love to help you again, plan, launch, and grow your podcast. Let's see what we can do together.